Hello, welcome back. It's another day here on the homestead. Today's project is putting up a fence. So as you all know, I have two beautiful fur babies that I'm trying to keep away from the wildlife of the southern Arizona desert. Um, I have one little rat terrier, her name is Peyton, and I have a bigger beagle basset hound, and her name is Houston. So what I'm trying to do is create an RV pad space so that we can both, all three of us, sit outside, play in the gardens that will eventually be here, um, and just trying to create a space, a safe space for them so that they can be off leash for a little area of this 12 acre homestead. So let me show you around and I'll show you what I've done so far. Okay, so so far we have plowed and leveled a 40 foot by 70 foot rectangle square where the RV is currently sitting in right now. Um, we have gravel on about 15 by 75 feet because 75 is on the long side. And we have 15 feet coming in here. So I had help digging these post holes. I'll show you a close up. These are eight foot pre-treated round posts I picked up from Tractor Supply. Um, and the holes are two feet, six inches deep. Some of the posts are already set. Um, I have about six inches of gravel on the bottom of this hole. And then I put in quick, uh, quick setting concrete into the rest of the hole, as you can see down here. Um, there's still a lot of hole left. So I bought more concrete to kind of fill in the rest of that because the holes are really, really deep. So this pole is all set, ready to go. We have another pole here. And what's gonna happen between these two poles is there gonna be a 12 foot wired gate that I bought at Tractor Supply, okay? This is the exit. So as you can see, I would unhitch from here and then drive out this way through this gate, okay? Then we have a corner post over here that I believe I set already. And then over here, we decided to leave this beautiful cactus in the middle just because it was so cool. I didn't want to get rid of it. So here's where we have a little bit of a situation. This pole over here is set in concrete already. I originally planned to have another 12 foot gate here, but when you come in from the corner, like around that corner with the RV, making that tight turn to come in here to go straight that 12 feet just doesn't cut it i need it like four more inches so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to attempt to make a 10 foot gate that has a cane pole right here and then another five foot gate so that they can open up to create a 15 foot span to allow me to bring the rv in park it straight and then go out through that 12 foot gate over here. Now, because I'm already straight, 12 feet is fine. I can fit there, I can make the turn to go out to the main road. But coming in over here, it was just, you can see the tire marks right here. <laughs> like literally just inches too short. So we're gonna fix it. We're gonna make some gates. We're gonna put up the fence because you know, I can do shit like that because I'm a homesteader. So let's get started. Okay, first things first, I'm going to double measure the poles from one side to the other to make sure I have exactly, it doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be more than 12 inches because 12, I mean 12 feet, 12 feet is the gate and then I have a bolt that's adjustable. So I want to give myself like 12 feet, two inches. Okay. All right, 12 feet, two inches is right in the middle of this post. So I just need to pull it over this way a little bit and then I'm gonna pour the concrete in. So 
this is a task that I have been avoiding <laughs> doing. I hate digging and I hate digging in Arizona, sand, dirt, clay, whatever you want to call it. It's just, I mean, so this should be enough space for me to make that turn on my RV. You guys, this is like not even. <laughs> I'm going to dig a two foot hole. I got an idea. Let's see if this Ryobi 40 volt horse powered brushless battery operated auger can handle this Arizona desert. By the way, not sponsored. I just put this thing together. I let it charge for a little bit. It's probably not fully charged. It's got two of the four little lines on there. High, low, reverse. Okay. Oh, there's a trigger. I should have read the instructions, huh? in here like that. Uh, it's on high. Let's put it on low. Jesus. I'm so glad I bought this thing. Put it on high. I think that's good. Dude. I'm digging holes. This totally changed my whole digging attitude. All right. Let me get some of that dirt out of there. I got a little scooper. You know what I did buy at Home Depot that I'm going to return is one of those post digger things. The ones that like go down and go like this and you pull out. Man. I mean, I don't know who they think is lifting that thing. But it's heavy as fuck. Oh my god, I can't believe it broke through rock down here. All right, now I'm gonna measure. about 16 inches which is here and we want to be a few inches more I think even though this is not yeah we'll do a few inches more Oh, my boob. <sighs> okay. Now, we want this to be Six inches off the ground. 
So I'm gonna put it in the ground, but I think the ground goes like this a little bit, right? So I'm happy with what it is. The hole's dug, my other hole, I have two more posts to put in the ground. I'm gonna level this up, fill, backfill it with some rock. Actually, I need to put some rock in first. Backfill it with cement. I'm gonna set these two posts and then it's lunchtime. So I'm starving, so I'm going to take lunch, um, but I wanted to show you before I sign off a big mistake I made. Okay, so we've got, this is the corner post that goes all the way to the bottom right hand side. It's set. That one post that I just dug, I dug it a foot off to the left, which would suck if I was doing a wood slatted fencing but i'm doing a woven wire fencing so i think to offset that i'm just going to put my t-post inset here so it's just going to be a little bubble and i'm okay with that because i really wanted the rv gate to be squared off and these two are in line with each other pretty nicely so i think that's plenty of room for my rv to get through mind you that slide closes out closes in when I travel. So that's plenty of room. <sighs> so after lunch, I'm gonna set some tea posts. All right, I'm back. So now what we're gonna do is um, lay out all of the tea posts, uh, approximately 10 feet apart, coming up this line and going all around. And I think that's all I'm really gonna do for the rest of the day today because all the posts are still setting and I'm gonna let them set overnight before I start trying to, you know, put any kind of tension on it with the field wire. So I'm just gonna lay out the T-post every 10 feet and um, come back at this tomorrow. I know this is gonna be a two or three day project, so. This is the T-post, see? It's like a little upside down T. Um, this is a seven foot post and the reason why I got seven feet is because you're supposed to go two feet into the ground and then have five feet up because I'm going to have a five foot fence. So you always want to get two feet longer than the height of your fence or yeah, two feet longer than the actual height of your fence so that you have enough in the ground to hold the TPO steady. This does not look like <laughs> it's going to be an easy job to get these into the ground. But what I think I want to do first is line them all up because I saw this on YouTube. I'm gonna line them all up and then I'm gonna measure two feet up from the ground and then I'm gonna spray paint a line across so I know how far to drive them into so that they're all even going across. Um, so let's do that first. <laughs> I've got all the T-posts laid out around the whole perimeter of the RV pad. And so now I'm going <laughs> to, I'm so dreading this. I'm going to use this T-post pounder. I don't even know what it's called. And I'm going to pound these things into the ground and see how hard it is. So let's go. So I remembered first I have to tie the string that goes all the way across, but it's, just a little short because I already cut it, so it should have reached, but it doesn't. So what I'm gonna do is pull it tight, lay this T-post up against the string first, pound that into the ground, and then everything else should line up from there. So here's my string. And I'm gonna put this T-post Um, I want 
in the center. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. So I want it on this side of the string. And the fence is going to be on this side of the fence. Okay. So it's going to go into there. And it's going to be so easy. And it's just going to take me. seconds to do it, right? I'm so dreading this. Is it even going in the ground? It's not even moving. And I have to go all the way to the yellow? Fuck my life. All right. I'm going to get some water. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I put a little water on here and I let it sit for like 10 minutes. I'm not going to lie, these are not going down to the yellow line. <laughs> They're just not. And the thing is, I don't know. It's just. yellow line will be decoration because you can't see on the camera the yellow line is here so maybe if I'm in a better mood or a worse mood I can get it down there but for today this is a far shoes the ground is so hard the water doesn't just soak into the ground it kind of sits on top and slowly soaks in so what I, I did was I kind of wet the topsoil for these three areas I'm going to stand all the posts up and get them started and then I'm going to soak the area some more and leave it overnight leaving overnight is not a technical scientific thing I just don't want to pound these anymore today so but I'm gonna at least get them in the ground and get them started because I don't wanna do all of them tomorrow either. I'm gonna put on my bad day playlist.
needed the right playlist. <laughs> Let me tell you, these guns are going to be sore tomorrow. That's Houston wanting to go for a walk, so I'm going to wrap this up for today. I got one, two, three, four, five, nine posts pounded into the ground today. On the line, a little bit crooked. Some of them are a little bit to the left, but I'm going to straighten them out tomorrow. But I'm feeling really accomplished. Today was a really good day. It's Miller time. Later. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up. See you next time.